Good morning everybody and welcome to another video. My name is Teacher Prashant and I welcome you all to Linear Equations Part 6. This video is going to be the last video of this series and uh, in this video we'll be doing some complex linear equations. So we'll be doing something like this, you know. Now I was at work at my school and I thought that why don't we do everything combined whatever we learned in our last six videos let's do everything combined like let's do variable on both sides let's do multiple fractions on either sides involving brackets so let's do everything together what we learned alright so this is what I came up with 3 over 4 multiply x plus 5 plus 5 over 6x equal 5x minus 125 divided by 3 minus 2 bracket 5x plus 10 divided by 4 Alright, now before we do this question, I have made a list of all the steps which we need to follow in order to get the value for x. And if you all follow the steps, we can do this question easily. So what are my steps? Let's go and have a look at the steps. Alright, so the steps to be followed are, number one is break and simplify every bracket in the equation at first sight. Okay, so on the left hand side we can see 3 multiplied x plus 5 which is in a bracket and on the right hand side we can see 2 multiply 5x plus 10 which is also in a bracket. So, Okay, so according to our step number 1 we will break and simplify every bracket in an equation at first sight. So let's go back to our question and perform step number 1. Right, so before we solve this bracket let me just tell you what is 3 and x plus 5 means. 3 x plus 5 basically means 3 times x plus 5 and the same concept applies to 5x which is 5 multiply x. So let me rewrite this equation in a very simple form. So 3 multiply x plus 5 divided by 4 plus 5x divided by 6. Let me write the rest of the equation okay so we are still on step number one and in step number one we're gonna simplify this bracket so according to the distributive law of mathematics it's gonna be 3 times x and then 3 times 5 if, if you guys don't know what is a distributive law I have already made a video in linear equations involving brackets and I will put a link on top of your screen so you guys could watch this and I highly recommend that you should know how to do this before you jump on solving this equation so let's move on. So, so 3 times x will be 3x and 3 times plus 5 will be 15 divided by 4. Let me write the rest of the equation. Uh, 2 times 5x will be 10x and 2 multiplied by 10 will be 20 divided by 4. Now we are done with step number one. We need to check out what is step number two. Step number two is check on the denominators whether they are equal or not. And in case if they are not equal, find the LCM of all the denominators. But before we actually do this, we need to mark step number one as finished. Right. So now we can jump on to step number two. Let's go back to a question. So our denominators are 4, 6, 1, 3 and 4 and they are definitely not equal. So if they are not equal we gotta find out the LCM. So let's find out the LCM. LCM of 3, 4 and 6. Our LCM of 3, 4 and 6 will be 12 because 12 is the smallest and common multiple of 3, 4 and 6. If you guys don't know what is a multiple, multiple is actually product of two numbers. So in the table of 4, 3 and 6, 12 is the smallest and common multiple. That's why the LCM of 4, 3 and 6 will be 12. So we know what is the LCM of 3, 4 and 6. LCM of 3, 4 and 6 is 12. So we are done with step number 2. Now it's time to jump on step number three. So what is step number three? I am ready. Are you ready? But before that, we need to mark step number two as finished. So we are done with step number one and two. It's time to move on to step number three. Step number three is multiply every fraction with the LCM to cancel the denominators. Okay, so let's go back to our question. 
Now, why we have to multiply our fractions to the LCM? The only reason why we multiply our fractions with the LCM so that our denominator gets cancelled out and, and from a fractional equation we could get a non-fractional equation. And I will show you exactly what I'm talking about. So let's write step number three. Okay, so multiply every fraction with the LCM. Alright, so we are done with step number three. Now we are just about to multiply every fraction with its own LCM. Now let's check out step number four. Step number four, but before that, let's mark step number three as done. Now step number four is simplify the fraction. Now question is what that means? And the answer is, that means cancel out your denominators with the LCM. So four times one will be four and four times three will be 12. Six times one, six, and six times two is 12. 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 goes 4, 12. 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times 3 is 12. Right, so let's do our step number 4. We are not done with step number 4. Step number 4 is simplify the fraction and write the simplified equation. So what is left? 3 times 3x plus 15 plus what is left right here 5x times 2 and on the right hand side it, it will be 5x times 12 minus 125 times 4 I'm so sorry for my horrible handwriting minus 3 times 10x plus 20 okay so what do we notice right here we notice that a moment ago we had a fractional equation and now we have equations with no fractions. So that's the only reason why we multiply the fraction with the LCM so that we could cancel out the denominator and from a fractional equation we could get a non-fractional equation like this which is always good for finding the value for x. Now we are done with step number four. Let's go check step number five. Before that let's click number four is finished. Step number five rewrite the fractional equation as non-fractional equation. Okay so let's go do that. That basically means write down the final equation. So we do the same thing as we did. Apply this distributive law and if you guys don't know what is that check out my previous videos. You need to learn the basics first. And 3 times 10x and also 3 times 20. Now let's start with this one. 3 times 3x will be 9x. 3 times plus 15 will be plus 45 plus 5x times 2 is 10x equal 5x times 12 will be 60x minus 125 times 4 is 500 okay so minus 3 times 10x will be minus 30x and minus 3 times plus 20 will be minus 60 so now we have written our final equation after simplifying them. So step number five is finished. Let's go jump on to step number six. For that, click step five is done. Right. Now step number six is keep the like terms on either sides of equal to sign. Now what are like terms? Like terms are basically numbers or numbers and variable together. So 9x plus 10x, 60x, and minus 30x. These are like terms. Why? Because they have the same variable x. Now if you guys don't know what is a variable, constant, coefficient, expression, a term, you should check out my videos because you need to learn the basics. Once again I'll tell you. Learn the basics before you hop onto this question. If you know the basics you can do this question like a joke. Alright, so since 45 is a number and it's also a constant, and minus 60 is a number and also a constant they are like terms so we have two set of like terms 9x 10x 60x minus 30x they are all one set of like terms and the numbers 45 and 60 are second set of like terms so keep like terms on either sides of equal to so what we're gonna do right here is keep all x on the left hand side and keep all numbers on the right hand side so let's go start with 60x so we have to move 60x and minus 30x, right? 9x as it is there and plus 10x which is on the same side. Now, now what about this 60 move from the right hand side to the left hand side? 
what happens is, is this is positive 60 and when it changes the side or when this term will switch the side it will change to minus 60 x we can say that if a positive terms goes on other side of equal to it changes its value to minus the negative term go on other side of equal to it changes its value to positive so keep that in mind what about this minus 30 X we know that we have to keep all the X on one side so we have to move every X from right hand side to left hand side of equal to sign so since this is minus 30 X if it moved from the right hand side to the left hand side it is gonna change to plus 30 X write the rest of the expression minus 500 minus 60 now what about this number 45 we have to switch this to the right hand side so that we have numbers on right hand side and X on the left hand side so since this is plus 45 when it comes on the right hand side it will change to minus 45 okay so this was step number six and we're not done with step number six yet why we're not done with because we have to Keep all the positive terms together and negative terms together so as we can see this is 9x this is positive plus 10x is positive plus 30x is positive so write them together 9x plus 10x plus 30x minus 60 equal minus 500 minus 60 minus 40 you don't have to write the step since I'm a teacher so I have to explain everybody in details but you don't have to write the step you can skip it if you want to so 9x plus 10x is 19x plus 30 is 49x minus 60x I'm sorry I forgot to write x equal minus 500 minus 60 is minus 560 and minus 45 is minus 600 49 X minus 60 X is minus 11 X equals minus 605 okay so we are done with step number six it's time to start step number seven let's go see what is step number seven Step number seven is, but before that, let's mark step number six is done. Now, step number seven is solve the equation for x. So now it's time to find out the value for x. Let's go back to a question. So minus 11x basically means minus 11 multiply by the variable x equal minus 605. Now, if you want to find out this value for x, you have to move everything but x on other side of the equal to. So there's a small law that whenever multiplies goes on the other side, it changes itself to division. So since minus 11 is being multiplied to x on the left hand side, when it goes on the right hand side, it will change its value to division. So 605 divided by 11. So let's write this again. Let's solve the value for x. Now it's time to find out the real value for x. So minus 605 divided by minus 11. Please focus that you are engaging two operation. One is minus divide by minus, which will be plus. Other is 65 divided by 11, which will be 11 goes 1 and 11 goes 55 so minus minus is plus 6 out of 5 divided by 11 is 55 so we know x is 55 that easy that simple anybody can do this follow the steps that's all so please hit the like button if you think this video was helpful to you and also consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future content before I end this video I just want to tell you the topic for our next video our next video will be linear graph basics and we'll be learning what is a linear graph what is x-axis what is y-axis what is a coordinate and what is a quadrant so thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys again a very goodbye from teacher Prashant take care